Hello everyone, my name is Luis Salazar and the key concept I will be discussing is citation analysis. This is one of the most important ideas I've learned from the course thus far and is a concept that I wish I could have been aware of much earlier in my graduate career. I'm sure nearly everyone here has conducted research and followed leads using the technique of reviewing citations at the end of articles and becoming elated at finding something useful. But prior to the course, I never used citation analysis in a systematic manner or known of its importance for academia. The two prime uses I've discovered for citation analysis are for conducting research and in issues of academic tenure and performance. As mentioned previously, a work citations can be used for pearl growing and gathering further knowledge on a topic. Using a citation database allows one to not only identify experts in a field, but trace the lineage of an idea backward and forward in time and to witness the transformation of a certain thought over any period. Additionally, further lines of research may be discovered, expanding one's knowledge and exposing yourself to different viewpoints on the topic of research. As students, this is extremely useful when writing papers, and thus is something I would have loved to learn about earlier on in my SLIS career. In the future, though, when assisting patrons at any type of library with their own research needs, citation analysis will be another valuable skill in our toolkit. Its value for academic librarians is arguably even more important, as the next points will illustrate. For both professors and students in higher education, our own experiences highlight how useful citation analysis may be when conducting research. All of the points that I've mentioned above highlight this. But a further value has to do with academic tenure and promotion, as well as journal impact factors. This is based on the statistics of citations, with how important a professor, journal, or even an entire academic department are with regards to the wider academic community. Basically, those with greater numbers of citations for their work, the articles in their journals, or a department are supposed to correlate to greater importance within a field. This quantitative measure thus impacts professors' chances for tenure, the possible funding for a department, and decisions to subscribe to particular journals. All of which are issues for which money and prestige matter greatly, and thus its primary importance. At first glance, this seems like an objective, an objective system to evaluate how important a work is, but issues arise with the breadth of the various citation databases and the type of material they include. Increasingly, the publishing method may impact whether a work is widely available also. For instance, a researcher publishing in a low-impact, open-access journal not included in the major citation databases will escape the review of many others in their field. Nonetheless, citation analysis is here to stay, and utilizing it increases our search capabilities. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you for listening.